corral, to gather together and confine. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Dyson Corral. Back in November of 2019, myself and a few other very, very lucky individuals headed to the Dyson headquarters all the way in the United Kingdom, and we got to see the initial unveiling of the Dyson Corral. In November was the first time that we got a little sneak peek of what was to come, and now I come to you in March, finally, after months of holding this secret, presenting you with the new Dyson Corral. This is actually the prototype from the UK from November and I only have one day with this sweet succulent thing to film the video. I am so excited to get my hands on this. When the time comes, when it's actually officially launched, it's gonna be in high demand, y'all. You're gonna need to jump on that real quick. But today I wanted to show you how it's used, talk through a few of its very, very exciting features and show you how I uh, do a little do with it. What I love most about Dyson products is that they just take our everyday things, our everyday problems, and they solve them. Like the Dyson vacuum cleaner, the supersonic hair dryer. They took these products that we've been using for decades and they make them better. Things that haven't had updates in years and years and years, they take them and they make them better and more user friendly and they make our everyday lives better. So like the vacuum, like the supersonic hair dryer, they have now moved on to the straightener. Some things that are wrong with straighteners in general, lots of heat damage. <laughs> we got some hairs flying off left, right, and center. Uneven displacement of heat among the plates. I personally rip my hairs out all the time whenever I'm straightening my hair and it gets caught into the little sections of the straightener. That always drives me crazy. And I had previously not had a cordless option. And the cords, you know, we're moving on with the future people, moving into the cordless feature. So those are a few of the problems that I have noticed when I use a straightener, which is why I don't straighten my hair all that often because it usually immediately kind of melts. Oh my God, I used Vanessa's hair straightener and it melted my hair. I I had some hairs fused together from the heat damage on a straightener. So I typically stay pretty far away from straighteners because my hair blow dries relatively straight. But ladies and gentlemen, those times are behind us because Dyson made this. So why is this called the Dyson Corral, you ask? Well, it starts with the plates. These flexing plates, they're called. This is the main feature, the most exciting part of the Dyson Corral. And the reason why it was called the Corral is because the flexing plates versus non-flexing plates in your traditional straightener, it actually bends and gathers all of the hair into the plates. And that makes such a difference because with your traditional straightener, with flat non-flexing plates, whenever you're doing a pass, there's gonna be a hot spot of temperature. Usually it's in the middle of the plates and you have to continuously pass over the hair to spread that heat across, whereas these flexing plates, it applies the temperature evenly across the plate. So when you're actually physically using the straightener, it gathers all of your hair in between the flexing plates. There's no hairs kind of spraying out of the side and being tugged on by different parts of the straightener. And because it's applying the temperature evenly, you only have to do one pass and the job is done. So that in itself, by doing one pass versus multiple passes over the hair, will result in less heat damage on the hair. And then with the flexing plates and what whatever magical technology they're doing with that, it doesn't fully rely on the heat to actually do the straightening. And you know, going into the science of it, it's like loosening the hair bond and then resetting or restyling the bonds of the hair. That's where I get a little bit lost. <laughs> but basically the flex plate technology on here reduces the damage up to 50%. And because I'm in my entire world of hair health and being very conscious of trying to give my hair less damage while we are in our 2020 regrowth, that's a very exciting piece. And the biggest thing, like even aside from the flexing plates, they left this little gap here, which I think is incredible because usually my hair always gets caught on that little part. There's usually some little sticking out plastic part that rips my hair out and there would always be like a collection of hair gathered here and I'd have to rip them out and then it would just be tugging and I have all of this lovely breakage on my hair. So they put this little genius gap here so that the hair doesn't get caught in there when you're actually doing the straightening. In the actual material they use themselves, the, the manganese copper plate, there's a few other metals mixed in here as well, but the actual properties of the metal helps to reduce static. I don't know how many of you have straightened your hair in the past and then your hair comes off of the straightener and it just goes <laughs> <laughs> and with the heat as well, they have three different heat settings that comes with this. And depending on your hair type, whether you have like very thin brittle hair or very thick coarse hair, you can adjust the temperature 
as you see fit. During their presentation, they actually showed us four different hair types. They had four models and then they did four different styles entirely. And it was incredible to see how versatile this was and how the different heat settings can be used on different hair types, which is really, really cool. And the engineers themselves, when we actually did the walkthrough of the Dyson facility and we got to see how all of the different components were created, they had actually made this one giant machine where the plates were just straightening hair constantly, constant rotation, thousands and thousands of times. And it was just seeing the difference between the flex plates as well as regular plates and seeing how long you can straighten it for and, and the damage that was calculated after that. That. And through rigorous testing with that machine and many, many others, that's how they were able to determine the 50% less damage. So let's move on to the body itself. The one thing that's really cool, this little locking mechanism here. The buttons I like are recessed in here, so you're not actually hitting any buttons or changing any settings or turning the entire device off while you're actually styling. So uh, you can press the power button on here and then change the temperature settings and then when you're done, you lock it up. And then on the back side here, they actually have an airplane mode, which you can pop off and it disconnects the power from the battery. So if anyone yells at you for having this in your care and you can be like, mm -mm, nope. TSA approved my snitches. So for those of you who travel a lot and you want to have a carry on and you're worried about the battery, worry not my friends. They have thought of that airplane mode for you. And then moving on to my personal favorite feature, the cordlessness of the Dyson Corel. <laughs> it takes 70 minutes to do a full charge of this, and then you have 30 minutes of full cordless styling time, which especially when you're only having to do one pass to get your chief style and look, 30 minutes is definitely more than enough time to achieve your, your overall look and style. And if you needed more than 30 minutes styling time and you still wanna plug it in, you are not limited in mobility by this cord. It twists and moves with the corral itself and the magnet. It's very, very fun. You kind of don't realize how much you're burdened by a cord until you use something that is in fact cordless. It just makes moving it around your head so much easier. You have so much more mobility with the, with the cordless feature, which is really exciting. And when you actually do charge it in full, if you were just going somewhere for a day, say you had a shoot or you're bringing over to a friend's house, the battery doesn't lose its charge. That was a very important fact that I learned about the battery. Once you charge it in full, it will keep its charge even if you are moving it around. So seven years and $1.72 billion of invested money and research and time. My friends, the Dyson Corral was born. And for someone who has previously been very unsuccessful when it comes to styling my hair with a straightener, I can 100% assure you and tell you that this is very user-friendly. And for those of you who have never been able to curl your hair with a straightener before, this is your time. Your time is nigh. When we attended the launch back in November of the Dyson Corral, we actually got to attend a masterclass with a bunch of their Dyson Global Stylists and they were teaching us how to do a bunch of different looks. As I mentioned before, they showed us four different styles on four different hair types. And then we actually got to go into the styling room and have a little lesson from their Global Stylists. And I learned how to finally curl my hair with a straightener. And I also learned how to do an S wave, which I was very excited about. And my friends, it was successful. I can officially say that I can curl my hair with a straightener and I've never been to do that and I think a large part of that is the the cordless and mobility that exists within the straightener and last but not least let's talk about the price in Canada this is retailing for six hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents if you're hesitant on the price I know it's definitely up there in terms of an investment but if you happen to be in the area they do have demo stores both in Toronto and Vancouver and you can go in and see the products and test them out for yourself if you wanted to try them before making the purchase and then you can you can see the light too my good people all right guys so for the grand finale I'm gonna straighten my hair my hair my hair naturally air drives quite straight but I'm gonna do the ultimate sleek straight look using the Dyson Corral and then stay tuned for tomorrow tomorrow's video is actually the vlog from when we went to the UK back in November I vlogged the entire experience and the launch of the Dyson Corral and then Matthew Collins one of the Dyson global hairstylists we actually filmed him doing my hair and showing you how to create and achieve the perfect waves. So it'll be a little throwback for you, an entire styling tutorial on how to do the waves from Matthew Collins himself. That video is coming to tomorrow. So for now, I'm gonna do a really quick straightening demo and show you how I use this. And then I have to give it back because I had very limited time with the the one sample that exists in Canada. <laughs> let's, let's do this. I'm gonna, whoop. We're gonna power it up and I'm going to, mm, Let's do a mid. I don't think I have the most brittle hair. I'm gonna go with the 185 temperature and then it shows how it's loading 
and getting to the desired heat. And once it actually reaches the number, that is when you, uh, when you can start. That was quick. That took about like 15 seconds. So, okay. So I'm gonna straighten the hair. It's all gathered through and corralled in between the plates. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this and straighten my hair. I apologize that I'm not the best <laughs> example of this. One of the hairstyles, the chick had a full on afro and they were able to straighten her hair in one pass, which was pretty crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just straighten the hair. And I like to do a little bit of a whoop, a little bit of a curve at the end, just so my hair doesn't get that like 70s flip out. I like my hair to be kind of curled inwards. And that is the hair after one pass using the Dyson Corel. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. So the pleats are just flexing and bending and corralling the hair. And it just, it just is such a smooth process to straighten your hair. You're not getting any of the tugging or the pulling or getting the breakage from the plates kind of pinching and ripping your hair off. It's just smooth and sleek. And again, I could say it a million times, but you have so much more mobility with the cordless feature of the straightener. And it kind of just removes any of the static and just smooths out my flyaways. <laughs> <laughs> and gives it an all-around, much more sleek look. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. That took about two seconds to do my hair. <laughs> and my friends, this is the finished look. This is my, my straightened hair, much more sleek than when we began. And it was only one pass on each of the pieces of hair. So I've rarely straightened my hair in the past because it's just never worked for me. It's always caused my hair so much damage. And I'm really, honestly, I'm so excited to have a product in existence that can give me the sleek look that I've always wanted. I'm like such a fan of sleek. The word sleek, anything that has to do with sleek. I'm all in and I'm so excited to finally be able to do this and have the versatility in a tool to kind of achieve any look I'm really wanting to do. So that's it. That's the look. This is the first look at the Dyson Corral. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on the Dyson Corel? I'm so excited for you guys to finally be able to see this, to be able to share it with you, and for you to start getting your hands on it. So that's it for this video. Let me know what you guys think, the new Dyson Corel. I will also leave a link to where you can purchase it in the description box down below, as well as their website if you wanted to read more on the extensive research that went behind this bad boy. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much as always for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye!